What's good, YubiTubies? Today's video, I want to talk about that'll help you guys with improving your small talk. And I know small talk is a area where a lot of us struggle, me including myself. I would say nowadays I am a lot better. I am much improved on my small talk now than I was, let's say 10, 15 years ago or so. And if you guys do wanna keep seeing self-improvement tips like this, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and also leave me a comment and let me know what other other kind of videos you guys do want to get from me I'll be more than happy to get those out to you guys now back to the topic small talk a lot of us hate the idea of having to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with it might be somebody you already know it might be somebody you don't know but small talk is just one of those areas where most people do not shine and i don't know exactly i don't believe that it is something that you are born with i don't believe that it is something that you that one person has over the other person because if I use myself for example, I was quite arguably the shyest person in my elementary school, in my middle school. Arguably even in high school, I was still a very, very shy person. But I believe with practice comes greatness. And what I mean is the more that you get into it, the more that you sit down or more, the more that you have these conversations with an individual person, you get to know them, you talk to them, you become more equipped with tools and, and questions and you'll be able to, you know, fly off the top, you know, with questions and answers more quickly than you used to be. And you'll become more confident in your ability to engage in these, what would otherwise be awkward small talk. Now, my first tip with getting better with small talk is just the simple practice itself. Because if you try to avoid these situations, how are you going to get better at them? So what I mean is when you're at work, when you're talking to your family members, when you're talking to your neighbor or whoever the other person or people might be you have to just realize that if you don't practice or work on this skill you'll never obtain this skill it's just like shooting a basketball how is my jump shot going to get better if I never practice if you just throw me in the game and I've never practiced shooting threes before I'm probably not going to be hitting any threes I'm probably gonna be shooting a lot of air balls bricks so you just have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So when you're sitting down and you're say you're say you're just engaging with with some person and, and you're starting to feel that that really uncomfortable feeling, I know exactly what you're talking about. You have to just practice. You have to just get it out and just know that things are going to be very awkward and very uncomfortable at first. And you can't be afraid of this awkwardness. You can't be afraid of this uncomfortable feeling because I believe that this uncomfortable feeling is what is necessary to grow anything that our body feels is in my opinion telling you that you have to grow from this confrontation and it's not really a confrontation I want to say conversation is probably a better word to use for this demonstration but another thing that I like to do is ask a ton of questions I like to ask a crap load of questions to the other person standing or sitting across from me because I think the conversation flows better when I am in control of where the conversation is going and if it is I mean obviously if you're talking to somebody who is very easy to conversate with the conversation itself is going to be a lot easier if you know what I mean but if you are talking to someone that is not really holding their weight so to say or is not really very conversational themselves the best thing to do is just ask them questions just get to know them starting with where are you from what kind of music do you listen to let me use the the, the what kind of music you listen to and just kind of because basically what you're doing with small talk you're grabbing one subject and you're kind of diving deeper that's the way that i kind of look at it you grab the one subject like who's your favorite artist they might say kodak black or something and it's like, oh kodak black now i have something to react to from that so oh i went to a kodak black concert a couple years ago 
it was actually one of my favorite concerts that I've ever been to. And actually Kodak Black is actually one of my favorite artists. So um, if that person says Kodak Black or, or whoever the artist might be, grab something from that statement or their answer and then dive deeper into it. There might be something about Kodak in the news or something and be like, oh, Kodak is arrested or like, did you hear about Kodak doing this and that? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I know. Like, I just heard that he's gonna be locked up for like 12 months or something, or he just got released or, or whatever. And you've kind of followed this trend with any conversation that you're having. And it could be a not so serious conversation like Kodak Black or who's your favorite artist, or it could be what they are doing, what their career is. And let me give you an example of a conversation with someone that is a little bit more serious. Maybe you're talking to your manager or someone with just a little bit more seriousness to the conversation. You, you start engaging and it's just, hey, how's it going? And it's like, oh, I'm good. Just taking it easy, just getting used to the the way things are with, you know, coronavirus and blah, blah, blah. And then they'll probably say something like, yeah, this thing is crazy. You know, we're all out of work and things are remote now. So from that, you already have, just from the first couple seconds of the conversation, you already have somewhat of a subject to talk about. And when you're grabbing onto this subject, like coronavirus, which we are all a part of right now, you know, the COVID-19, pandemic stuff we all have a similar experience so you can talk about that for days for hours you know what i mean so what you should take from this video is that small talk is really just about finding a subject that you guys find in common and then just diving deeper into it so oh yeah i mean this thing has been difficult for everybody you know and then they'll be like yeah i had to sell a bunch of stuff be like sell a bunch of stuff oh when i left la i had to sell everything in my apartment and i only had 24 hours or 48 hours to sell everything in my apartment before i left in one day and then they're like oh wow you know 24 hours is not that much time to sell everything and then you're just like yeah i've never really been one of those people that just sell everything but it was one of those things that needed to get done and then they'll be like yeah i had to sell it's not really that serious that your mind tries to tell you you or you being afraid of the conversation itself it's not as serious as you might think because a conversation at the end of the day with another human being is just a conversation it's nothing to really be afraid of it's just practicing over and over and over again with becoming one with your skill set I mean like I said I'm coming from a place where I would just be in the classroom doing this you know not like the teacher would ask me a question I would just nod my head yes or no to the point now where it's like I look forward to small talk even it's very it's, it's a very different turnaround and it's just you, you have to develop this confidence that I just want to learn something from this person I want to know something about this person whether they have relatively poor conversation skills or not I still want to try to test my skill set and be able to just engage with anyone and that's the kind of feeling that you need to have is that you can engage with anyone whether they be very shy or very outgoing and it does help significantly when you are engaging with someone that is outgoing I mean that's obvious because your questions and answers are just bouncing back and forth very easily but it's a lot more difficult when you're talking to someone who is not necessarily giving you any feedback they're just giving you you know very short answers very you know yeah I don't know I mean it's going to be difficult to have a conversation with somebody like that especially if you are also that kind of a person you just kind of have to you know remember things like look them in the eye and just feel confident with your ability to just learn something and ask questions and grab a subject and stick to it and that's the easiest thing to do with any conversation and i just want to leave it at that and if you guys have any more questions if you guys want to see any more topics that are similar to this please give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you have not already and i will catch you guys in the next one peace